All right, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. KJCR, JimmyChurchRadio.com. I am your host, Jimmy Church. We are live from Burbank, California. This is KJCR from the Galpin Ford Studios right here in sunny Burbank. Galpin Ford, the largest volume Ford dealer on planet Earth. Give the sales manager there a call. His name is Ruba Cartoonian. 818-425-2828. We're live with the Deacon Dogs, Hilton J. Palm, Charlie the Sheckinator Sheckman. I am your host, Jimmy Church. Follow us on Twitter at JChurch Radio. You can certainly shoot me an email right now to Jimmy at JimmyChurchRadio.com. All right, here we go. For syndicatednews.net, I'm your host, Jimmy Church. We have breaking news right now out of Texas, Fort Worth. 17 Texas Christian University students, including four football players, have been arrested today on drug charges. This is an ongoing six-month sting that went down with the Fort Worth Police Department and the TCU Campus Police. Four football players have been arrested, and they are linebacker Tannen Brock, safety Devin Johnson, defensive tackle DJ Yendry, and offensive tackle Tyler Horn. The details are coming out right now, but they were arrested for a, a, an operation of selling, get this, Marijuana, cocaine, ecstasy, and prescription drugs. Now, the investigation kicked off because of complaints from students and parents. I don't know if the football players were buying, if they were selling. And the other thing is this. this we're talking about the state of Texas, and we're talking about a private Christian university. So I don't know how much drugs were involved here. I don't know if we're talking about kilos of cocaine. I don't know if we're talking about joints or pounds of marijuana. I don't know. But this is Texas. And in Texas, you get life for a marijuana seed. I'm making a joke there. But I'm not, I don't want to make light of this. This is, this is a very serious subject. In Texas, Christian, TCU, 71 students last year were arrested. There's a, It's a 9,500-student 9, body campus. So 71 students arrested last year, it's like nothing. It's infinitesimal. It's less than 1%. So I'm not of the student body. I'm not saying that the, the TCU has lost control of that campus. They haven't. Obviously, they run a tight ship. I'm just saying, what is a big undercover sting operation to them relative to the rest of the country? I don't know what kind of drugs were involved uh, and the quantities involved. But again... We're going to find out everything very soon. But for this to happen with TCU, I mean, who's next? And I'm not making a joke, but what goes down at Brigham Young? You know, and what is the percentage of what goes down there? And I'm just saying, this is a big deal. Four football players for syndicatednews.net. I'm your host, Jimmy Church. We'll be back right after this. Stay with me. 